The family of a man involved in a shooting Sunday morning along I-91 in Springfield is speaking exclusively with Western Mass News. Good Wednesday evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us. I'm Chris Pisano. And I'm Beth Ward. State police have not confirmed the death, but the family reached out to Western Mass News Monday evening after the three suspects in the case were formally charged. Western Mass News reporter Caroline Powers joins us now live in Springfield after speaking exclusively with the victim's family. Caroline? Beth and Chris, the family of 31-year-old Gabriel Irizarry Feliciano, tells me that he was driving his Ford F-150 along I-91 North in Springfield Sunday morning when he was shot. State police have not confirmed that Feliciano is the victim, but the family says they believe this was a case of mistaken identity. They called me at 2 o'clock in the morning. They told me that he got shot. We just lost it. My reaction was, okay, he got shot, but we never expect for him to be the way that he was in that bed and then you know just plugging that machine breathing for him massachusetts state police say just after one in the morning on sunday november 3rd isaiah fraticelli lewis Cotto, and keith Cotto were driving along i-91 north in springfield when they fired gunshots at a ford f-150 state police have not released the identity or current condition of the driver but family members tell Western Mass News that 31-year-old Gabriel Irizarry Feliciano of Holyoke was in the car and has died. His cousin and brother-in-law spoke exclusively with Western Mass News, but wished to not show their faces on camera. Everybody loved him. Like, he used to do stuff for the community, so we don't understand the reason why these people did this to him. We think that it was like a confusion with somebody else. That's all we can think about because he was never in the streets. He don't, he didn't have nothing to do with drugs or street stuff related, nothing at all. He was always helping, helping others. Feliciano's family says he came to Holyoke from Puerto Rico 14 years ago and leaves behind a wife and three young daughters. The whole thing is just crazy. I was with him Saturday night and two hours later that happened. It's just a sad, sad story. Lopez says Gabby was part of his Stop the Violence campaign, a movement Lopez started 15 years ago when his mother was shot and killed. He loved doing community work. He would help anybody, no hesitation. Uh, he was the light of the room. It wasn't fair what happened to him, so we, we want justice for Gabby. The family says that Feliciano died on Sunday night, but he remained on life support so they could donate his organs. They also tell me that they are not familiar with the three men charged in the case. All three suspects are being held without the right to bail. Live in Springfield, I'm Caroline Powers for Western Mass News.